Welcome back. Welcome back. Time for us to start another round of Bible trivia. But as I have been doing all this time, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. What's a shark's favorite sandwich? A jellyfish sandwich, of course. <laughs> what did the banana say to the doctor? I'm not feeling well today. <laughs> okay. Let's, we'll just forget that, that I said those jokes. We'll pretend I didn't say them because, oh man, they were bad. <laughs> All right. Let's get into our Bible trivia. As you know, the rules, 10 questions worth a point apiece, two bonus questions. They're optional, but they're worth three points apiece. And you lose three points if you get them wrong. So let's begin. Number one, when Jesus was seized in the garden of Gethsemane, what did the officials do to him there? Beat him, forced him to his knees, or bound him? John 18, verse number 12, tells us that they bound him. Number two, what did the disciples do when Jesus was arrested? They fled, they argued that he'd done nothing wrong, they insisted on staying with him. Matthew 26, verse 56, I think we all know the answer to this, they fled. Number three, along with the Jewish officials, who else was a member of the arresting party? Pilate, the captain, or Herod? John 18, verse number 12, tells us the answer is the captain. Number four, when Jesus was arrested, to whom was he first taken? Herod, Caiaphas, or Annas? John 18, verse 13. Is, tells us the answer is Annas. Number five, when Jesus answered Annas' question, what happened to him? He was struck, he was released, he was handed over to an angry mob. John 18, verse 22, tells us that he was struck. Here's your bonus question, who struck him? Who did it, who struck him? Again, the answer is in that same verse, John 18, 22. It was one of Annas' officers. All right, let's move on to our next set of questions. Number one, where, uh, where were Saul and his sons defeated by the Philistines? Was it Mount Ebal, Mount Tabor, or Mount Geboa? 1 Samuel 31, verses 1 through 6, tells us the answer is... Mount Geboa. Number two, where did Joshua pronounce the blessing given Israel for obedience? Was it Mount Carmel, Mount Gerizim, or Mount Tabor? Deuteronomy 11 verse 29 tells us that it was Mount Gerizim. Number three, on what mountain region was a covenant made between Jacob and Laban? Was it Gezer, Golan or Gilead? Genesis 31, verses 20 through 49, lets us know that it was Mount Gilead. Number four, where was Moses allowed to view the promised land? Was it Mount Nebo, Mount Horeb, or Mount Ararat? Deuteronomy 34, verses one through four, is Mount Nebo. Number five, where did Jesus weep over Jerusalem? Was it Mount Moriah, Mount of Olives, or Mount Ebal? Answers found in Luke 19, verses 37 through 41, the Mount of Olives. And here's your final bonus question. Let's see how smart you are today. Who traveled over this mountain fleeing from his rebellious son? Who traveled over this mountain fleeing from his rebellious son? 2 Samuel 15, verse number 30, tells us that the answer is David. All right, I hope you did well, and I hope you have a great rest of the week.